I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here is your latest weather on demand forecast. Right now we are seeing clouds increase from the west and actually very light snow showers. The uh, snowflakes are very, uh, not too much there, or we call them the dendrites of, of the snowflake, really not producing that much of a uh, very big snowflake. So that's why just very light snow associated with the system over in the west that I showed you last night in the plains. And all in all, that's going to be moving through now. We have a very weak front, not a lot going on, just some very light snow and lots of clouds. But hey, that's going to help warm us up tonight, finally above zero and keep us out of the single digits. We're going to be warming things up overnight tonight. Here is the almanac for the day, high of 24 degrees today on Sunday. Last night's low at the weather service, only 12 degrees. And that's actually right in par with average. Both of those pretty average day for mid-December. Records there, minus 19. I'll show you here in just a minute how cold it was in the eastern UP. It was uh, well below zero in some spots. For us, we're talking about moderating temperature throughout the night and into the first part of the week, Monday and Tuesday. But with that said, kind of we picked up in November. With mild temperatures, we're going to throw some wind around, and that's exactly what's going to happen late Monday into Tuesday. As we keep our eyes on a very potent winter storm that right now looks poised, to set its eyes on northern lower Michigan and also the southern portion of the viewing area. Right now from Houghton, they don't have to worry about the storm as of now. They will get lake effect behind it. Currently 26 degrees and the dew point right in line there, which means the temperature won't be falling that much tonight. Humidity relatively high due to that system off in the west. But here are the morning lows that I was referring to. I mean, look at how, how stark this the difference is from west to east. Minus two from Newberry, 10 Manistique, 21 above and Ironwood, but going off to the east, that's where you see the really the heart of the cold settling in. And same thing with southeastern Ontario, where they were nearly 10 degrees below zero air temperatures. Since then, we've climbed and pretty well, I might add, into the upper 20s, even near 30 at the moment, down in Escanaba. Menominee, they're flirting with the freezing mark, 31 degrees there. Mid 20s elsewhere is a safe bet. Uh, once again, it's colder down in by Gwyn, where they have uh, less cloud cover, keeping them warm this evening. Today's highs across the region. You see this trend now. We're getting into the warmer, at least moderating part, where we see 40 degrees was our high in Pier 44 in Grand Island, and upper 20s in the Twin Cities. That's not too shabby there, as this branch, this uh, wave of Arctic air, now moving off to the east, above free freezing once again in Cleveland. So this is what I was talking about. We have a very weak front downstate, which is now just producing a very light wave of snow showers, and even why I said last night the uh, also the light freezing drizzle, which is possible down state. Otherwise, mild air is going to continue to move its way onto our region. So the upper air map looks like this as the jet stream, how just a week ago it was really it diving far south and creating, uh, bringing a lot of Arctic air with it. Now it's not the case, it's starting to level out, but what that means is, for us, this is what it means stormy, is we're going to have to deal with this. Until then, it's going to be cold and we're going to change things up here especially come middle of the week, I wanted to bring your attention to this next snowstorm coming our way. For, for the next short term, we're going to see the winds back from the southwest. Notice how they get stronger as the snow showers move off to the east, finally calming things down tomorrow morning, but things are going to be changing for Monday afternoon and evening. See the direction here, generally southwest between 10 to 20 miles an hour throughout the day on Monday, and that's going to carry with it some warmer air, and finally, going to give us a little bit of snow showers as well Monday night into Tuesday, but not too significant that at that time. For tonight, temperatures right around 20 degrees across the east, mid-20s elsewhere, mostly cloudy skies. Southwest winds there generally 5 to 13 miles per hour. Throughout the day tomorrow, light snow developing late, especially for the north, and it will be warmer there, mid-30s, otherwise low 30s and breezy elsewhere. Your extended forecast looks like this, Gl lots of clouds, wind, and actually a stormy period especially late Wednesday night into the first part of Thursday where we see that center of circulation pass really close to northern lower Michigan. And that means a good looking snowstorm. We could see totals with this ex close to, if not exceed one foot of snow. So stay tuned, especially if you're traveling anytime at this heading into Christmas week, Christmas weekend that is. Snow showers, lake effect behind that. But look at this, Christmas day, we see temperatures crash and this is going, our next wave of Arctic air moves its way as temperatures struggle to reach once again low to mid-teens.